Good morning, everyone. Let's uh, begin lying down on our bellies. Have a block handy though. Yeah, so if you have got one, have that nearby ready for in a little bit. All right. So otherwise, you're just going to start lying there onto your on your belly. You can rest your forehead on your hands. Let your legs relax. Let your shoulders relax. Just take a little bit of time here. So once you feel settled and can come into a, a place of stillness, bring your awareness to your breath. And as always, just slowing your breathing down. Mindfully breathing now. See if you can direct the inhale into the belly, feeling your belly expand into the floor. And as you breathe out, draw the belly button back away from the floor. So that breath in, the belly expands into the mat. With the breath out, draw the belly away. A few more times like that, yeah. using the breath not only to, to focus, but start to awaken your core. So with the belly drawing back away from the floor, just feeling the core muscles start to engage. And the breath just helping you to get into that relaxed place where you can focus, you can concentrate this next hour. Giving yourself this much needed time to get strong, ready for the day. Last breath, feel the belly expand into the mat. And as you breathe out, drawing the belly button back. Easy, nice and easy to begin with. Keep the breath flowing, but extend your arm out towards the right hand side. Bring your left hand flat on the floor by your chest. Turn your gaze towards the left side and then just start to peel the left hip open. You can let your head rest on the floor. You're gonna bend the left leg behind your right leg. Okay, and this is the first stretch. So that shoulder might be feeling a little bit tight. Don't push it, don't force it. Just get to where you can feel the stretch. And stay at that place and just take some breaths. So yeah, remembering it's the first stretch. It's the first moment moving into mobility. So it might be a little bit resistant. There might not be as much space as there normally is. So not going too far, just going where it feels good. We'll take one more breath there. All right, lay your belly back down onto the mat. Uh, bring the right arm in, give it a nice little shake out. And you can feel that there. And then extend your left arm out, so it's in line with your left shoulder. Right hand flat by your right rib cage. And then push through the right hand to spin the right hip back. You can let your head rest on the floor here. And again, not overstretching. Just getting to the point where you feel that little bit of resistance. 
and then using the breath to help ease that out, to start to stretch and lengthen that. And slowly bringing your belly back down onto the mat. And you can bring that left arm in. Give the shoulder a nice little shake. Okay. Now bring your elbows underneath your shoulders now. Press your palms down onto the mat. See if you can push down and uh, push down to your hands, your forearms. Push down to the pubic bone. Lift the head and chest up. Breath in. Breath out, just feeling that upward, upward energy. Now just let your chest drop and squeeze your shoulder blades together and then push away and try and round into the upper back. Now do that a few times, letting the chest drop and then pushing away, spreading the shoulder blades. See how much movement there is there today. And then you can take little circles and drawing the circles up towards the shoulders and back. And then take the circles the other way. And yeah, see if you can work that out. A little bit more complicated. Good. And then from there, push down through your forearms, lift the head, chest up. And as an option, just lift your elbows up off the floor and lift the chest up a little bit higher. Pushing down, rooting down through your pubic bone and lifting that head chest up. And breathing in. And breathing out. Good. All right, slowly lower yourself back down. You can rest your head on your hands. Give the hips a little shake from side to side. Keep your forehead on your hands and take your feet to the corners of the mat. Push down through your pubic bone. And as you do that, notice the lower back gets longer. And then keep pushing down through your left foot to lift your right leg up off the floor. Keeping that right leg as straight as you can, can you push down through the pubic bone? Maybe you can do little pulses there. If I was to pop into your little square there and try and pick up your left foot, I would have trouble because you're pushing down through that left foot so much. Good. And then lower your right leg down. Release anything, needs releasing. Push down through the pubic bone again so the lower back gets longer. Push down through your right leg and then lift the left leg up. Try not to lose the push down of the pubic bone. You can do little pulses there. Try and straighten that left leg as much as you can so the knee is off the floor as well. And then lower the left leg down. Release, give those hips a little bit of a shake. Take the arms out to the corners of the mat, your forehead down on the floor. As you exhale, lift the right arm up off the floor. Try and keep that right arm nice and straight. And while you're there, bend the elbow, squeeze the elbow back, squeeze the shoulder back. Keep the hand off the floor if you can. And then extend and reach it forwards, keeping the hand off the floor. Can you really root down to your left hand as you do that? Root down to your feet. Lower the right hand down. Push down to the right hand and then lift the left hand up. Can you push down to your feet? Can you push down through your pubic bone? And then we bend the elbow, draw the elbow back, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Keep the hand hovering off the floor. And then extend the arm forwards. Hold the hand off the floor, hold the arm off the floor. Breathing in. Breathing out, lower the, the left hand back then. And from here now, give yourself a little shake. Push down through both feet, push down through both hands. It's like you're trying to tuck your tail, you're pressing down with the hands, pressing down with the feet. Lift your left leg up, 
Try and keep the legs straight. Lift your right arm up. Hold it there. Try and keep your forehead on the floor. Can you push down to your right foot? Can you push down to your left hand? Yes. Good. Lower the hand, lower the foot. Now lift your left hand up, lift your right leg up and push down to your right hand, push down to your left hand, left foot. Holding it there. Good, lower the legs, lower the hands. Breath in. Now as you breathe out, lift both hands, lift both legs. Keep the forehead on the floor. One more breath. Push down to the forehead. Breath into the belly, belly into the mat. Lower the hands and lower the feet. Shake out whatever needs shaking. Last time, both hands, both feet at the same time. And this time, lift your head as well. Yeah, lift your head as well. Squeeze your shoulders back. Open up. Press the elbows back. Core strong, legs strong and straight. And then extend your arms forwards. Keep the head off the floor. Reach, 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 reach. And then lower down. Relax your head on your hands. Give those hips a little shake out. The whole back of your body nice and fired up. Then slide your hands underneath your shoulders and then push your hips back into a child's pose, which is going to feel really nice now. Have your knees together, your feet together, and relax the tummy, the chest, the head, all the way down into the mat. Doesn't that feel nice? <laughs> Breathing in. Breathing in. Roll your way up to seated and you're going to catch hold of your block. Place your block underneath, uh, in between your feet the long ways, yeah? And then sit your bum down onto the block. Squeeze your legs together, yeah? Squeeze your feet into the block. Have two blocks if you need to here. And if you want to sit cross-legged because this has helped you, then sit cross-legged. Then take your hands out in front, interlace the fingers and turn the palms away. As you exhale, round the back and bring your chin to your chest. Breathe in and spread your shoulder blades. Breathe out, lift your arms up to the sky, get nice and tall here. And we are fold over towards the left side. Breathe into the right side. Coming back to the centre, lean over towards the right side and breathe into the left side. Coming back to the center, round into the back, bring your arms parallel to the floor, and then lift the arms up, get taller. And again, exhale, round into the back, chin to chest. Inhale, lift up and get taller. Good, two more times, exhale, round into the back, chin to chest. And then lift your arms up, get taller. Last one, exhale, round into the back, chin to your chest. Good, and then inhale, lift up. See if you can get taller, push down to those sit bones. You know, release the hands. Take a side, shake out those shoulders. And I'll take the hands behind, draw your shoulders back, push your hands down, and then see if you can lift that chest up. Yeah, so it's like you're leaning back over some hands. Inhaling. And exhaling, squeeze your shoulder blades together here. And then bring your gaze back. You're going to take your right arm around your back, left hand pushes into the right palm, and left ear towards left shoulder. You squeeze the right shoulder down the back. Let your any stiffness there, maybe from your day or from a night's sleep, let it ease away. And then lifting the head back to the center, just let the head, left hand swing around the right side, and then right ear towards right shoulder, press that left shoulder blade down and away. Good, all right, from here, bringing the head Back to the center, release the hands, 
Give those shoulders a little shake. Hopefully that feels a little bit better now. Come up onto all fours and you've got your feet around the block. Yeah. So maybe wiggle your way towards the back of the mat a little bit and squeeze the block so you can pick the block up with your feet. Yeah. <laughs> From here, take some cat cows and keep squeezing the block with your feet. Letting the belly sink and lift the head chest up. Squeeze the block here. As you exhale, round into the back, chin to chest. Keep squeezing the block. And again, inhale, let the belly sink and lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, round into the back. Have you forgotten to squeeze the block? Yeah, keep squeezing. And last time, let the belly sink and lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, push away and round into the back. Yeah. Coming back to neutral. Now you're going to bend your arms. You're going to slide your chest all the way down onto the mat. Once you get there, take your arms out, lift your arms up and lift your legs up. Keep squeezing the block here if you can. Lower the hands down. Now you can place the hands underneath your shoulders, elbows bend. Uh, drag your chest back, lift your hips up and push your hips back into your heels and into the block. Child's pose. Okay. So let's try that a few times. So you're going to... Bend your arms, slide yourself through, move with the chest, and then the belly, and then the pubic bone. Take your arms out in front, squeeze your block, lift the block up, squeeze the feet into the block, if you've got one. Take the hands down, bring the shoulders back by the, underneath the, short, sorry, hands back underneath the shoulders, drag the hips back. And then sit back into your child's pose. Two more times. Try and find that slinky snake in you. Elbows can go out to the side. That helps me lower the chest, the belly, the pubic bone. Once you get there, lift your arms up. Squeeze the legs into the block. Lift it up. And then sliding the hands back underneath the shoulders. Lift your hips up. Drag the chest back hips back and sit back into that child's pose. Relax your head. One more. Find that slinky snake. Elbows out to the side. Chin, chest, belly, pubic bone and then lift your arms up. Lift your legs up. Squeeze the block. Lower the hands. Lower the legs. Lift the hips up and then drag yourself back. Yeah, hopefully you found a way to do that for yourself. Big breath in and a long breath out. Okay. From here, come up onto all fours. You can take the block out, pop it to one side. Take a little cat care, let the belly sink and lift the head chest up, hold it here and then tuck your toes under, root those toes down into the floor and then push the hips up and back into your first downward facing dog. Yeah, relax your head, your knees are bent. Can you wiggle your hips from side to side? So getting into those hamstrings now. Eventually straightening the legs. Okay. If straight is good for you. We'll come up high to the toes, roll yourself forward into plank pose. Same thing as earlier, bend your knees, push your hips up and back. Through maybe three or four more times, rolling through the dog into your plank and then back into down dog. Chin to chest as you roll forwards, arch your back, send the hip bones up. Maybe two more times. Find a good pathway for you. Last time. Good. Yeah, this time, come up high to the toes. Roll yourself forwards into plank pose. Lower your knees. Arch your back. It's been a while since we've done this. Drop the chest in between your hands, your chin onto the floor. Imagine you've got the block in between your feet and squeeze your heels into your bum. Squeeze your heels into the bum. Lower the feet back down. Let your legs lie flat so you can untuck your toes. 
Push down through your hands, draw your shoulders back and lift your head, chest up, your first cobra. I'm going to take it straight up and back into downward facing dog. Two more times like that. So this vinyasa now, come up high into your toes. Roll yourself forwards into plank. Maybe you can do knees, chest, chin all at the same time, or one at a time. So knees, chest, chin, land on the floor at the same time. Maybe not. Legs lie flat. Push down to draw your shoulders back. Come into your cobra, up dog. And then take it up and back, down with facing dog. Good. One more of them. Come up high into your toes, roll yourself forward into plank pose. Maybe challenge yourself to do all three at the same time. Or knees, then chest, and then chin. Sit bones up nice and high. Release the feet. Let the legs lie flat. Roll the shoulders down the back to lift your chest up. And then come right back into your downward facing dog. How does all that feel? Energy starting to rise. Take a big breath here when you're down with up. And a long breath out as you lift the sit bones up. We're gonna lift your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up that hip there. Bring your right foot inside your left thumb. Slide your left leg back a bit. Get nice and long. Rock forwards and back. Get the feeling like that you are on a tightrope because those feet are in line. See how, see how that feels. You're going to lower the left knee to the floor. You feel the front of that left thigh. And then move the left foot over towards the right side. And just spin your left arm up and over. Come up to standing onto that right leg. Okay, take your hands behind you, interlace, draw the shoulders back, open up the chest, and then just start to lean back. Now you bring in your hands towards the knee. Turn your gaze up to the sky. Obliques are working. Okay, bring yourself all the way back to the center. Now lay yourself over this right leg, and then take your, heart, your arms towards the back. Chin up towards the top, uh, top shoulder here. Good. Coming back to the center, and then you can release the hands. Right hand comes down outside your right leg. Big circle with your left arm up and over the head. Return your left foot. Walk your right foot over towards the right side, and now you're going to slide your right leg. Uh, your come back onto your left knee. Draw your right toes up to the sky. We get a nice little hamstring stretch here. Breathing in. And breathing out. And then we're going to slide your right leg all the way back and come into a, well, what would be a warrior three, but on your left knee. Hold it there. Breathing in, right toes down, belly supporting back. Imagine now you're lying flat on your belly and you're pushing your pubic bone down into the mat. That's how you can engage the core here. I wonder if that makes sense. Come onto your left fingertips and then reach your left arm forwards. Bring your elbow and your knee to meet. And then extend and reach, get longer. And again, bring the knee and elbow in to meet. Still pushing down to that pubic bone. And then reach and get longer. Last time, elbow, knee meets. And then extend and reach and get longer. Good, lower your left hand, lower your right knee. Let your belly sink and lift your head, chest up. Tuck your toes under, push through those toes and lift the sit bones up to the sky. Wiggle, 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 or stay in stillness, see what suits you. We're gonna push down to your right foot, lift your left, oops, left leg up to the sky. Open up the hip here, feel that stretch for your right side, right leg. We'll bring your left foot inside your right thumb there. Slide that back leg away and rock forwards and back. Just starting to wake up those legs a little bit. You're on that tight rope. One foot in front of the other. Okay, eventually lower your right knee to the floor. 
those uh, feeling there to the front of the right thigh. And then move the right foot over to the left side. We swing your right arm up and over, but come up to standing on the right shin. Yes, good, take your hands behind you. Draw your shoulders back, push your hands down, spin the chest towards the right. And we'll lean away, drawing your hands towards the knee. Find the obliques here. Yeah, the, the abdominals around the sides of your belly. Inhaling. Good. As you exhale, come back and lay over the front leg now. Draw the hands towards the back of the mat. Open up the top shoulder. Breathe into what you're feeling here. Good. Coming back to the center. Release the hands. Pa-ching. Take your left hand down, big circle with the right hand. We can return the right leg. Walk your left foot over to the left side and then come back onto your right knee, left toes to the sky. And straight stretch, breathing in. Breathing out, fold over that left leg. Inhale, lift up tall. You'll swing your left leg all the way to the back now. So you're coming into a warrior three, but on your knees. So again, play with this. Think about pushing down to the pubic bone, drawing the chest forwards. Imagine you're lying flat on the mat here. We can come onto the right fingertips, reach the right hand forwards. And as you exhale, bring your knee and elbow in to meet. And then extend and reach, get longer. And again, bring your knee and elbow in to meet. And then extend and reach, get longer. Last time, knee and elbow in to meet. Good, and then extend and reach, you can get longer. We'll lower the right hand, lower the left knee. Take that cat cow, but actually it's just the cow. <laughs> Let your belly sink, lift the head chest up. Tuck your toes under, send those hips up to the sky, into your downward facing dog. Maybe those legs are getting a little bit more space now. Come up high into your toes, roll yourself forwards into plank. Drop your knees, chest, chin, maybe one at a time, maybe all at the same time. Let the legs lie flat, push down to roll your way up, cobra up dog. Take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Once you get there, push down through the hands, lift those sit bones up. You're going to swing your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Just bring your right foot next to your left thumb again. You're on this tight row, rock forwards and back, get used to it. All right, for a moment, drop the back heel 45 degrees. Let your right hand fall towards the right side of the mat. Lean into the right hand, take your left arm up to the sky. Now take your left hand behind your head and then bend, your elbow is bent, so you're pushing your head back into the hand. Really exploring where can you get to here. Swinging your chest back, bringing your right hand back. Left arm comes up and over your head into your warrior two. Ah, we are here. Take your hands behind you. Interlace, draw your shoulders down. Lean to the back, gaze up to the top. Chin towards the shoulder, breathing in. Feel the obliques, feel the sides. And then breathing out, lay over your front leg. Draw your hands towards the back of the mat now. Just like you did earlier. Good, looking down, coming back to the center, release the hands. I'm just gonna windmill the hands down, right hand down, big circle with the left hand. Pick the back heel up, walk your right foot over to the right side, and now work on just straightening your right leg where you are. Don't worry about uh, having it completely straight. You can have your heel lifted at the back. It's just a little one. Breathing in, breathing out. You're going to stand onto your right leg, lift that left leg up, bring your right hand to your chest and your left hand to meet your right hand into your warrior three, dropping that hip, inhale, can you push the pubic bone down as you lift your chest up, and as you breathe out, re-bend the right leg, put the left toes at the back of the mat, lift your arms up, you are in a high lunge. Yes, you 
Oh, well done. Good. Take your hands down. Front foot moves to the back. Find your plank. Knees, chest, chin. One at a time or all at the same time. Let the legs lie flat. Push through your hands. Draw your shoulders back. Lift your chest up. And then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lift those sit bones up. Good. Sweep the left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Enjoy the stretch in the right leg. Bring your left foot next to your right thumb. <laughs> Slide the back leg away. Maybe rock forwards and back a bit. All right, from here, drop the back heel, 45. Move your left hand over to the left side and lean into it. Yeah, so you could lift this right left foot off the floor if you wanted to. Right arm goes to the sky. Take the right hand behind your head and then try and open up the elbow here. You're breathing in, pushing the head into the hand. And then breathing out, bring yourself back over your left leg. Bring your right hand next to your left foot. Sorry, left hand next to the left foot. And then windmill, right arm up, and left arm up into your warrior two. How's that feel there? Take the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, draw your shoulders back, lean towards the back then. Big breath in, long breath out. Coming back to the center, lean over your left leg, arms to the back. Find the obliques here. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Coming back to the center. Release the hands. <laughs> Taking the left hand back. Big circle with the right hand. You're going to pick your back heel up. Walk the left foot over to the left side. And don't overthink this. Just straighten that left leg. You could grab your block if you needed your hands on the block. But just play with it. It's just a, maybe the left leg straightens, maybe not. It's not a big deal, this one. Big breath in. Long breath out. So you can stand onto your left leg, walk your hands forwards and lift your right leg up. This is the hard bit, coming into warrior three from here. Left hand to the center of the chest. Lift yourself up off the floor, bring your right hand to the, to, to the left hand and you're in your warrior three shape. Find that balance, find that strength. Push down to the pubic bone. Breathing in, breathing out, bend the left leg, right toes to the floor at the back of the mat, and then lift the arms up into your high lunge. Doesn't it feel nice? Now we take the hands down, the front butt to the back, find a punch, knees, chest, chin, or one at a time. Once you're there, the legs lie flat. Push down through your hands, draw your shoulders back, lift your chest up, cobra up dog, and then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. How does that feel? Nice big breath in and a long breath out. Let's keep on moving. Right leg lifts up, bend the knee and open up the head. Now bring your right foot inside your right thumb now. A little bit more familiar. Come up into your high lunge. Good, we're here. Take the hands down, interlace them behind your back, pull your shoulders back and open up the chest. Now, can you trace your back leg with the hands as you lean back, opening up that chest? Good, you're gonna grind the back heel, 45. Adjust your front foot, come into warrior two, keep the hands interlaced. Lean back, draw the hands to the front. Lean over the right leg, bring the hands to the back. Good, looking down, come back to the center. We're gonna stand onto your right leg. Just bring that left leg in where you can support yourself a little bit. Start to turn the chest towards the left. Keep the hands where they are. 
lean into the right leg and start to lift that left leg up. So it's a little bit of an uh, adapted half moon. See if you can find this place. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to drop that left hip, make your way into warrior three. Now see if you can manage it, keep your gaze somewhere uh, solid, like on the floor. Draw your shoulders back once you're in warrior three, pushing those hands away. And then bend your right leg, lower your left toes to the floor at the back of the mat. You might be just off the mat. And then lift the arms up to the sky. Take a breath. Yes, good. Take your hands then. Front foot moves to the back. Find your plank. Do normal vinyasa if you want. If you're enjoying these chest chin, go for that one. Rolling through. Coming up into your cobra up dog. And then take it up and back. Downward facing dog, whichever way suits you. Breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. So you're going to swing your left leg up, bend the knee and open up the hip. Bring your left foot inside your left thumb now. And then come up into your high lunge. That's it. Once you're there, Take your hands behind your back, interlace, draw your shoulders back, open up the chest. This should feel like a nice shape now. And we're going to think about tracing the back leg as you lean back. So push the pubic bone forwards like you're pushing it into a wall, and, and then it's just the upper back that's leaning back. Round the back heel 45, and then wiggle your front foot towards the right side. Wiggle your chest square towards the right, and then lean over the back leg, bring your arms towards the front. Get those obliques working there. And then lean over the front leg, draw your hands towards the back. All right, keeping those hands interlaced, come back up. You're gonna stand onto your left leg. Just bring that right leg in so you've got a bit more of the support there. Start to lean into that left leg and lift your right leg up, turning the chest towards the right side. Yes, yeah, so you're coming to it from quite a nice relaxed place. Use the hands to draw the top shoulder back. And we're going to move into your warrior three, dropping that right hip, dropping the right toe. So we've been here already before, now just coming into it from a different angle. How does it feel? If you fall and wobble, just get right back up. Squeeze those shoulders back. Bend the left leg. Lower the right toes to the back of the mat. Breathe once you get there. Well done. Take your arms up. Lovely. Take the hands down, front foot to the back. Maybe you do your full vinyasa. Maybe you do your knees, chest, chin. Push down to come up. Wherever you are, cobra up dog. And then meet me in that downward facing dog. Breath in through the nose, guys, well done. And breath out through the nose. Come up high onto your toes, roll yourself forwards into that plank pose and lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. Draw your shoulders back, bend the knees, bring the feet in. Have your big toes touching, your knees open wide. And then reach back, try and catch hold of your feet. Forehead down into the mat. Push down through the legs. Push away from the feet. Lift your head, chest up. Good. Now, maybe you can have a little rock and roll. So you inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower. Massaging your belly, ready for your, your food. <laughs> When you're ready, release the legs, bring your head underneath your hands. I mean your head onto your hands <laughs> and then give the hips a little shake. How's that all settling in your bodies? Yeah, how does it feel? There's so much work on the back. Let's see what else we can do with it. So we're gonna bring the uh, hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze those shoulders back. 
push down through your feet and then big breath in as you breathe out push down through your hands draw your shoulders back and lift your head chest up into your up dog and maybe wiggle your hips closer towards your hands just see where you can get to here start to separate the legs a little bit so the feet go to the corners of the mat lift the upper body back bend your knees yeah see how that feels just go to where it feels good you can be here with the arms bent as well maybe though you can start to squeeze the pubic bone forwards draw your shoulders back lean back maybe those toes tickle the head and when you're done you can release lower back down i'm sure you were all centimeters away from your head there forehead down onto your hands give those hips a little shake maybe you can all send me a picture <laughs> We'll see where you're at. Just before we move out here, bring your right knee in line with your right uh, hip and have a little look. Bring your right foot underneath your right knee. Push down through the pubic bone. Try and um, see if you can get rid of the gap uh, underneath that right leg. You're going to then come up onto your left forearm and you're going to slide your right arm underneath your left arm. It's above your chest. Have your palm face up, chin over the hand. You could use a block to rest your forehead on the block if it's intense. And then take your left arm forwards. Have your chin on the block. You can have your chin on the floor. Push down through both legs, through the pubic bone. And then through this left arm, so it's like your karate chopping floor with the left hand. It's a big stretch in the outer right shoulder, guys. Be careful. Good. And then release. There's going to be no tension in these shoulders today. Now keep the knee out. Come onto your forearms. And then just lift the head chest up. Push down through the pubic bone. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, release the leg. Lower yourself back down. Shake out what you need to shake out. So bring the left knee in line with your left hip, left foot underneath your left ankle, uh, left foot underneath the left knee. Just take a moment here, pushing down through both legs. Yeah, trying to make the gap between the floor and your inner left thigh a little less. You can come up onto your right forearm, slide your left arm underneath you towards the right side. Make sure your left palm is up towards the sky here. Take your right arm out in front, chin over the arm. Maybe your head's resting on the block because it's a little intense. You know, if you'll choose, you'll see. And then push down through both feet, legs, karate chop the floor with your right hand. Just that push away from the floor. Yeah, take one more breath. It's a big stretch, be careful. Good. Okay, bringing your right arm back in and extending that left arm out. Come down onto the forearms. Push your hands down, squeeze your elbows down and lift your chest up. That's it. Weight in your right foot, weight in your left foot, weight in your pubic bone. Lovely. All right, lower yourself all the way back down and extend that left leg back. Take your knees as wide as the mat and then just drop the right foot into the center. Lift it back up and the left foot into the center and just see how does that feel in your hips there? Yeah. Do you manage to touch the floor? Good, now bringing the knees together, extend those legs out, push the feet down, hands underneath your shoulders. The beautiful child's pose, <laughs> push back. Hips into your heels, relax the tummy, the chest, the head over the legs. Take 
Take just two breaths here now. And we'll come up to seated on the heels. Catch hold of your block again. Put the block in between your ankles. Sit the bum down. If this pose is not good for your knees, you could try another block, but you could also you know, just come cross-legged. It's fine. But take your hands behind you. Fingers towards the toes. That's it. Squeeze your shoulders back. Push down through the block to open up the chest. And then keep pushing down through the shins to lift those hips up. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a supported camel pose. Good, squeezing your feet into the block, lower your sit bones back down. That suits you better than a normal camel, maybe do that again. Otherwise, you can keep squeezing the feet into the block, why not? Lift the knees up off the floor. If you want to tuck your toes under to make this a little bit easier um, for you in camel, then do that. Otherwise, you can keep your feet long. Inhale, lift your arms up. Now imagine you're pu uh, pushing the pubic bone into the, into the floor like you did earlier. Take your left hand back. You could bring it onto your lower back or you could reach it back towards your left and, uh, heel. And then take your right hand back. See where you're at. Toes tucked under is a little bit easier. We have done a lot of work for this. Keep your gaze straight up. If you've got no issues with your neck, you can let your head fall back. Take one more breath. Choose your version of this. Bring the head back up. Bring your arm up. And then the other arm up. Sit your bum back into the block. And then relax into that forward fold. One more breath here, guys. Well done. Good. And slowly come back up. That feels very nice. Roll onto one side. You can bring the block with you. Take the block in the feet again, reaching the arms forwards, lean back and then just hover the feet off the floor. Draw your belly button back and then lift your chest up. Keep squeezing that block, stay here or take it into a low boat. Keep squeezing the block, bring it back, a high boat. And again, take it into a low boat, squeeze that block. Bring it back to a high boat. Yes. Two more. Round. Hover. Core strong. Legs in the thighs, becoming part of the core. Bring it back up. Squeeze in. And then last time, push the block away. Round, round, round. And then bring those knees in. Squeeze those feet in. Catch hold of the block. <laughs> and then lower all the way down onto the mat. Relax here. Yeah. Your whole body into the floor. Well done, guys. We've worked super hard today. You're nearly there. Just hang tight. You are nearly there. Take the block. It's um, short edge. It's um, long edge in between your inner thighs. Bring your feet towards each other, not touching. Make sure, for me, it helps to have the block uh, by my knees. So I'm squeezing my knees into the block. Maybe for you, it feels all right with the uh, down lower by the inner thighs. The palms flat, breath into the nose. So that's the belly expanding into the mat, if you remember. And then breath out is the belly drawing away from the mat, squeezing it back here. Yeah? And then you've got all of that braced and strong, push down through your feet and lift your hips up. And keep squeezing the block yeah, with the knees, not the feet. Squeeze the block with the knees, not the feet. And then you slowly lower the spine down vertebra by vertebra. Yeah, so there's space in between your feet and your knees are pressing together. Take your arms up and over your head. Bring your elbows uh, to your ears, your fingers close to your shoulders, whether you're going to do a wheel or not. Remember, having the block there changes it. So be mindful of that. 
Breath in, belly expands. Imagine you're lying flat on your belly. The belly expands into the mat. Exhale, the belly draws away from the floor. All of that brace, tuck the tail, lift the hips up. Push down through the hands, come into your wheel. Squeeze that block. Remember it changes it. Be careful, be mindful. Stay in bridge if that's enough for you. And then bring your chin to your chest. Let your arms lower you down. Release. And we'll squeeze the block and bring your knees into your chest. And we'll let both knees fall to the right side. You can, hopefully you can just do crabs through your day today. Your back is so mobile, shoulders are open. Inhale. And exhale. Bringing the knees back to the center, bringing the block with you if you like. Let both knees fall to the other side. Let everything melt. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And then coming back to the center. You're going to pop the feet down onto the mat. Let the knees press together. You can have the, let the block just fall to one side. Take a moment, palms face up. So hopefully with the knees bent, knees together, feet as wide as the mat, it's just giving you that little support for your back, as we have done a lot of work there. And you can just relax, let the jaw uh, relax, let the face relax, let the eyes close. So this little moment to just let the practice settle in your bodies. It's almost like you've reshaped your body, molded it back into the correct posture for energy to flow, for you to feel less stressed, for you to feel strong, confident, creative. It's going to be quite a day today. This day is already quite a day. As you got here, you got up, you got on your mat, you spent this time working on yourself, making yourself strong for others. I'm gonna take one more breath here. So you can start to walk your feet together, extend your legs out, so you're going into a full body stretch. And just before we come up to seated, take a plow pose or a happy baby. So I've kind of done the Shavasana a little differently, but I just feel like that it would be nice just to get that little counter pose doesn't have to be big, just a little bit of a knees by the ears, toes towards the floor. And when you're done, hands on the mat, lower the spine down, and then you can roll it onto the right hand side and bring yourself up to seated. Mm -hmm. Sitting cross-legged or however is comfortable for you. Eyes closed, face relaxed. Bring your palms together, thumbs into the chest bone. Just let your right ear fall to the right shoulder. And let your chin drop to your chest. Take the, chin, the uh, ear over towards the left shoulder. That's it. And then bring the head back to the center. I'm gonna place the right palm on top of the chest, just by the chest bone, left hand on top of the right hand. Lift your chin up. Push the chest down. Good, and then bringing the chin back to the center. Palms together in gratitude to the practice for challenging us, for making us explore our bodies and minds. Wishing you a beautiful rest of the day. Big breath in. 
Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Have a beautiful rest of the day with your nice mobile spine and shoulders. <laughs>